This sunny morning at La Lande is reflecting my mood today because something pretty gloriously exciting has happened. Because I have received the most exciting invitation. I was contacted by the department of a French minister, Dominique Faure, who is in charge of rural affairs, and they contacted saying that the minister would like to meet me later in the year to talk about how vlogging is transforming rural life and restoring chateaus around France. Because since my channel, there have been quite a lot of other channels that have started that are doing the same thing. And of course, this is so exciting for the French countryside. So I'm super Super excited to meet her later in the year but in the meantime she asked if Philip and I would like to go to the Champs-Élysées to see the big Bastille Day celebration tomorrow and we received the invitations and I've got to show you the invitations. I wasn't expecting the invitation to be from the President of the Republic. Monsieur Emmanuel Macron, the President of the Republic, asks Madame Stephanie Jarvis to assist in the ceremony which will take place on the 14th of July on Place de la Concorde in Paris. And all this because I started a vlog as a hobby five years ago with no idea that it would make such a difference. And now there are so many vlogs restoring chateaus all over France. I mean, just here at La Lande, the difference that all of you watching the vlog has made to the chateau is so obvious just in the courtyard before even stepping inside. This was the aerial footage in my first intro of the Chateau Diaries. And this is what La Lande looks like today. And that's because of all of you watching. And I know that YouTube is going to make as big a difference to other chateaus all over France. I mean, just look at Dan's work in Escape to Rural France. He is tackling a ruined shell. But I know he's going to get there. The transformation of the Chateau de Chaumont is going to be extraordinary when he finishes. And that's all possible because of vlogging. So it's a huge honour to be invited. Philip and I are heading up to Paris today so that we're there ready for tomorrow morning. But also we're meeting the aide of the minister in this beautiful museum that has a cafe. It's called the Musée Jacquemart André. And though I won't film the meeting with the aide, hopefully I can film a little bit of the museum for you because I went once many years ago and it is absolutely beautiful. But for once in my life, I'm already packed and I've got a couple of hours before leaving. So I'm going to pop downstairs, see what everyone else is up to. Good morning. Good morning, Natty. How are you? Really excited about Paris. Oh, That's why I got all dressed up. Oh, I'm in the mirror. Yes, I got all dressed up. Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Yes, just answering some emails. I'm looking forward to the guest weekend. Yes, <laughs> take care. I'm grabbing tea before anything else. And then I've decided I'd like to spend the morning gluing porcelain pieces back together again because we've got a fair bit of broken porcelain lying around things that have broken but we think they're repairable we don't want to get rid of them so we put them to one side and philip and i we've got enough time to glue some things back together oh they're so pretty we received these as a gift and they arrived broken quite a few of them but it was really clean breaks they're napkin rings and they're amongst the prettiest i've ever seen uh, okay, I'm joining you. By the way, I saw you grab a pain chocolat earlier. <laughs> and because of that, I had to have half of one, even though I'm supposed to be on a diet. So that's your fault. All right. And you can also tell I'm flustered because my cup and my plate aren't matching. So it's a flustery sort of a day. The cup and saucer are matching. Yeah, well, <laughs> that wasn't too that hard to something. manage. I know, but I was like packing everything and sorting everything out and just being wildly excited. Okay, so... How do I do this? And you have to put one thin coat okay. on one of the two. Oh, that's quite big. One on of the two sides. One of the two sides. And then to hold it for at least one minute. So I'm doing two. Okay. Now this is a lid of a beautiful chocolatier that I've had for years and years and loved so much. And the wind knocked a painting off the wall. It was a freak accident, which landed on the chocolatier, which okay. fell and only, only the lid, lid broke. Yeah. Yes. And I brought these plates because this one's intact. They were also sent as a gift. And there are three others that are rather broken. But again, this one at least is quite a clean break. So I think I can repair at least one of them. I'm not sure what they're for, though. Do you think they might be for toast? And yeah. Put probably. toast on the side and then mm -hmm. egg maybe yeah. next to it. Either that or for carrying a letter very beautifully from one room to another. Napkins. Napkins. Paper. I did all sorts of things you could use it for, but I don't know what its original purpose was. It doesn't say on the base. Anyway, they're really pretty and it'd be nice to save them. I'm starting with a clean break because I'm not used to this, but this one is quite good. It goes there, extremely cleanly onto that there. And then we'd have a complete flower. 
So I just need to get it to stay there. Mm, I think that may have been somewhat too thick a layer. Still, first attempt. All right, I think we're all lined up. So I hold this for one minute. At least one minute, so we're doing two. According to my calculations, that makes it tea time. Meanwhile, I thought that that was a clean break, but it's not at all. I didn't realise how many tiny pieces mm -hmm. you had. I tried to save all of them. Oh, no. It's been two minutes and it is staying on. Fingers crossed it doesn't suddenly fall as I'm speaking to you. But isn't that just the most beautiful napkin ring? But there's one more step to it. It needs to dry overnight and then yes. tomorrow you can peel off Scrape all off the, the little uh, excess bits. Yes. Excellent. I've left the worst till last. These two were very bad. There's petals all over the shop. I can't make them worse, put it that way. Enchanté. There are now 10 that are absolutely fine. They are good to go. Two others that need a lot more work. They were just, I mean, they were shrapnel. This one is nearly done. Just needs one more little petal putting on, but it's so fragile that I don't want to do it yet. And the great news is that this was one of the broken plates and there's just one tiny little piece to put on at the back, just behind there. But generally that one's absolutely fine. So we now have a pair of the little toast plates. Amazing. If indeed they are toast plates. I mean, it would be quite good as well for a little bit of bread and a little cheese platter. I think they're perfect. I can't wait to see what you do with the table settings with those. How's it going with this? Wow. Um, okay, the jigsaw puzzle is definitely getting there. Basically, some of these pieces were so tiny, if one is not perfectly aligned, it pushes the other ones out of line. Yeah. And that has slightly happened. There's a few pieces missing. There's a tiny piece okay. missing here and a piece missing here. Yeah. Um, the rest looks pretty good. But yeah, then it does actually. There's just here. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, let's see how it looks when it's in place. I think back in the shop for like yeah. To the back, I think you won't be able to tell. <laughs> okay, that. I love that thing so much. It's very beautiful. But you know, if I get upset when there's breakages, then I wouldn't use any good things. And that would be exactly. such a shame Absolutely. on a daily basis. Phillips put it back on and actually it does look all right in place. But you see how beautiful the chocolatier is. And it comes with this lovely platter. And underneath, you see at the back of the platter, gosh, I hope I don't break anything now. Um, that would be somewhat ironic. Yeah. The back of the platter, you have all of the names of the birds handwritten. And it was from Rue Royale, Paris. Just so lovely. You think one hand is a good idea? Three should do it. <laughs> I know that wasn't easy, but you've done a lovely job. Well, from this angle, I have. From that angle. We're going to we'll put it like this that. angle. Yeah. We're not going to look at. You know, it's actually not that bad, frankly. Look. No, it's not. Too it's not bad. great, but I couldn't do it better. Yeah, than that. I understand. It, it, you've done a great job. I'm happy. And now we can have hot chocolate again, but maybe not in this weather. <laughs> so this is Marie Cam. I've been out foraging and I'm currently in the courtyard just uh, taking a few of the yellow dahlias that are so beautiful all over the courtyard. And more is coming, which is nice. So I've got a nice, lovely selection to complement our flowers from Petals Berry and uh, that will arrive any minute now but all in all i think this is a very beautiful mix of colors for this weekend's uh, flower arrangements now we're just going to hydrate the flowers cut them put them in water and just let them drink up a bit we won't arrange anything before tomorrow it's all looking stunning all from the garden these dahlias all of these so pretty I'm so lucky to be able to work with these flowers, uh, honestly. It's so, such a pleasure. Just close your eyes and let them rest. That is cayenne pepper, lemon and uh, apple cider vinegar. Very healthy for you. Just feel the wind If you look close You see the lilies dance And how they slowly I'm counting years as they go 
so lucky here at Lalan to be able to have flowers like these to use every weekend for the B&B guests. They're stunning. I can't wait to see what I'll be creating for every room over and out. We have to leave really soon now, but I just want to pop into the garden because seeing Marie with all of those flowers has really inspired me. Many of you will remember that we have been looking for the Lost Rose of La Land. This is the Contest de Nadayac Rose that was very famous in the 19th century, but which seems to have died out in the early 20th century. It's no longer available. We can't buy it anywhere. This beautiful yellow and blush pink. And Davy's been looking everywhere for a rose that has very similar character traits. And he found two that were really similar. And we decided to use one of the varieties for the courtyard and another for cut flowers in the garden. Garden. So the second variety he just planted in various spots where we had gaps in the rose garden here. And then as summer started we realised that all of the ones that we planted in the courtyard have come up white. I think the company must have sent us the wrong rose. They're completely white, all of them. But the roses that Davy planted out here in the garden really do look like the lost rose of La Lande. You can see the really tiny rose bushes because they were just planted last year as single little stems. But look at the size of that spectacular rose here. I'll put my, let's face it, very glue covered hand to show you. It is spectacular and the scent is ridiculously good. I wish you could be here to smell it. And there are just a few of them starting to show themselves around the garden. I was coming over to show you the dahlias that Marie's been using and what do I spot? It's very hard to see here at the moment. I don't want to get too close, but in there, there's our white peach chick. Let's see if I can head round and show you. Oh, there he or she is. We're hoping for a he, but we'll be delighted either way. The most precious creature. I did come to show you the dahlias, but I got distracted from them because the peach is so much more exciting and now I've got to rush in to leave. So uh, that's the shallots harvest now. Oh, it's time. Yeah, so now they, they're doing their thing and now we're just going to make them dry to be able to keep them. That is perfect because they are going to be used a lot. Oh, yes. So we have those little ones and all the rest who's uh, there that I just harvested. Oh, and these were harvested earlier? The garlic? Uh, no, that's the one I just harvested. That's more Oh, that's garlic. today as well? Yeah, that's today as well. That's more garlic. That's great because we've got loads that Pavlina had already yeah. um, platted together. Yeah, exactly. So that's more shallots. So many. But we have more here. All of those are different shallots. Are these ready yet? Uh, yes. Yes, I can, I can take them out as well. And those ones are rounded, and those are uh, long, and those are round. I wonder how long they're going to last, because I know we get through them so fast. It's going to well, be great. Next year, I'll do more. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll let you know how long they go for. Yeah. No! <laughs> don't you dare go without me. I don't know how this happened, seriously. There we were, faffing around doing all of the lovely gluing, thinking I had all the time in the world. And the last minute is a massive panic, as always. Okay, okay, let's get there in one piece. Bye, Lelland. We will be back in 24 hours. We have arrived in Paris. And our first port of call is the Boulevard Haussmann to see the beautiful Musée Jacquemart André. Built in 1876 for the rich Édouard André, it later became the personal museum that he created with his wife Milly Jacquemart, a well-known portrait painter in her own right. I'm here for my meeting with the minister's aide in this cafe, but I also want to show you the rest of this mansion. It was one of the first homes to theme rooms in different periods.
just made it onto the Champs Elysees. There's so many people sitting along the edges of the avenue and we're wandering along because ours is right up at the far end. That's Place de la Concorde in front of us and over there that's the government tribune and then all the way along the Champs Elysees, all down here, as far as the eye can see. There are these tribunes either side of the road. Everyone's just waiting for the parade to begin. Incredible! What did you all think? We're stopping for lunch in La Pré aux Clairs, a little bistro that was one of Ernest Hemingway's favourites. See Philip chatting with the waitress hiding behind a tree over there. And as we were sitting there, I just noticed that next door is La Durée. So I'm going to pop in here because we're going to have dinner with all of our guests tonight as our own little Bastille Day celebrations at La Lande. And I thought they would like a little taste of Paris. So let's go choose something nice. I'm tempted by the cakes, but I'm going to take the macaron back. That'll be easier. So hard to know which ones to choose. But in the end, I went for Marie Antoinette tea, passion sweet clover, lemon, and of course, salted caramel. I think I've come out in the nick of time. You see, my apple oil spritz has arrived. <laughs> Cheers, darling. What a day. I'm having tuna tartare and avocado with an Aperol spritz because it's truly summer. But of course, it's all about the dessert and Philip is all in with the creme brulee. But I can never quite decide, so I always get the Café Gourmand, which is an espresso with lots of little mini desserts. And I still get to try the creme brulee. You would have gotten to try the creme brulee anyway. Uh, True, I would have had half of yours. Oh, I have to say, the mini cheesecake is incredible. Is it good? <laughs> We've come to Soliedo because Philip had actually never been into the shop. Look, that's a big version of my handbag yeah. over there. That's like the one that uh, you got. Oh, for. that one's beautiful, yeah. that colour. And so I thought I'd bring him to the shop to have a little look. And just because it's really pretty to look at the lovely, lovely patterns from the south of France. I did find something. I got the yellow skirt. It's just sunshine in a skirt. And I don't really need to be taking sunshine back home at the moment because it's incredibly sunny there anyway. But I think that in autumn, it will remind me of summer. And now we've got to rush because we have to get the train. We have to be back in time for dinner tonight with all of our lovely guests. We've just arrived back in Chateau Roux. So we're jumping in the car. Uh, it is already 10 to seven. Uh, dinner is going to be at 8.30 this evening. So we've just got time to get back get changed very quickly and go to dinner. Home sweet home. You are a legend. I'm just walking in after being away. You asked me what my favorite was like. I... That is basically the sort of meal my grandmother would make for me every time I visited in the summer. Stuffed yeah. tomatoes and hatatouille, that's the south of France. Yeah, and it's also similar to like Greek uh, filled vegetables as well. It's pretty, yeah. much, pretty much the same, just has different spices. Yeah. Maria looks wonderful, I can't wait. Philip is madly laying a table outside in the courtyard. We're not doing a normal formal table tonight. We've decided that because it's a celebration, we should all be together outside. So Maria's making a buffet in the dining room and then we can help ourselves from outside. And I didn't have a dress that was red, white and blue. So I've just put my white dress on with a big red sash and something blue in my hair. It's spectacular, Philip. Thank you. So what was your theme for the evening? Um, 
French bistro. Well, only the chairs are letting us down. The rest is perfect. I see you've gone blue and white. Yes. I hope the food will bring some red. Is that why we're going for those glasses mm -hmm. to get the bistro feel? Exactly. You look stunning. Oh, thank you. And I love the blue and white. It's in my use. In my use. I can't believe you got that in my use. You look spectacular. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. This is so gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I love it out here with the fountain and the lavender in the background. Feels good for a party. I see Thor's come to join us. I know the poor thing's got almost no feathers left. But it does mean we're getting some lovely vases of them around the chateau as he's dropping them. Philip's picking them all up. He's picking them up. <laughs> this is a proper celebration. Maria is so sweet. She made me my favourite French meal, which my grandmother always made for me every summer. We have couscous with stuffed tomatoes and ratatouille made with the vegetables from the garden. And with a beautiful grapefruit and mint salad. For me, this is the absolute yeah, taste of summer in yeah, France. Okay, should I put the Calvados on here? No, as well? oh, on there. Yeah, 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 on here. No, not I on, think there. on there. No, don't worry. I'm not going to give the children. Just because he's got a moustache. Well, we are in France, darling. So. So we wanted to do something very French, and this is not from this region. It's the Tour Normand, the Norman Hole, which is a very unglorious name for a lovely palate cleanser, and it is an apple sorbet with Calvados poured over the top. But we'll let anyone who wants the Calvados pour the Calvados over the top. We obviously have the little flags. We are good to go. It is, after all, Bastille Day. Allons enfants de la patrie. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. And pour it over if you want it, and then we'll pass the Calvados round. Okay. I can go around as well. Do you want to take the Calvados here and then help yourself? A shot. As much as you like, but I I've tried it before and it's quite strong. <laughs> Would you like to tell everyone what you've done? Well, I have made a, a, a rustic millefeuille. Homemade yeah. millefeuille. Some Diplomat thought it couldn't be done. Cream. What is Diplomat, Diplomat cream, cream when it's at home? <laughs> home diplomacy. <laughs> we need that a lot here, actually. Uh, it's basically uh, pastry cream with whipped cream. You mix it together. Yum. So it's, it's lighter, less like... So a millefeuille with the cream of diplomacy. Yes, and we have a freshly harvested blackcurrant and a blackberry and some yellow raspberry. Oh, inside. so that's the blackcurrants as yeah, well yeah, as the blackberries. Inside, inside, yeah, yeah. Could you do it with the R's again? Because I like hearing it. The blackcurrant <laughs> and the uh, blackberry. That's my nightmare. Thank you. Best Gallery. Bastille Day ever. Yeah. I have to say... It's a pretty idyllic evening. Worth rushing back from Paris for. Okay, everyone, we all have our magic wands. Uh, we just put them in the candles and see if we can light it. Oh, you have an actual magic wand? Yes. Nice, really nice. Oh, same thing? Yes. Hurrah. Happy best year day, everyone. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Nice evening. Happy best year day. <laughs> good wine, good Hello. company. I'm the one with the wand. I know, you got two. This, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Harry Potter's wand. We got it from the Palace Theater when they were showing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh, it's going to be an actual fight. Who's going to win? Video! The evening has taken a typically let on turn because we now have all of our guests trying to catch a frog in the winter salon. Not Todrick, because Todrick's obviously a toad. We have a frog on the loose, poor little thing. And uh, we have our finest, finest minds on this. You're doing great, Alexander. Keep it moving, there you go. Okay. There we go. Oh, almost, almost. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Fabulous yeah. success. Yeah. We had the right team on this. You should most likely wash your water. <laughs> good idea, good idea. <laughs> that wand really came in useful. Thank you all for joining us for our exciting trip to Paris. I would like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons, without whom none of this would be possible. And a reminder to all of you that this week's patron video was a behind the scenes at the parade with the full parade going past us.
Today, I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of Lalande, Tonya René, Colette Retif, Sherry Dusky Rinka, Suzette Robage, and Hanny Ross. Lots of love to all of you and to everyone watching, and I can't wait to see you all again on Thursday. Thank you.